In this video, we're going to take a look at the new and improved Object Manager. There's been some tremendous upgrades that you're going to find really valuable. So let's have a look at how we can use these new features. We've developed a number of designs throughout this training. Now I've taken those designs and I've put them all into a multi-page document as you can see here. Well first of all, I want you to notice that every page has a different page setup. The way we achieve this is to make sure this icon here, Apply Page Layout to Current Page Only, is selected. That way when you create a new page or you add it to your multi-page document, you're not forced for that page to have to be a certain size and shape, but rather it can be independent to other pages. Also have you noticed, as I'm changing pages, every page has its own unique group of guidelines. Well, this is brand new to X4. Let me show you how this works. Go back to my business card, and I'll just move over a little. I'm going to open the Object Manager up to Window, Dockers, and the Object Manager. When the Object Manager opens, it will always display every page by name. As you can see, they're identical as what we've got down here. It will also display for you all of the layers and the information about all of the objects you have sitting on your page. Now, if I select the email address you can see right there, which is an object, and I renamed it to email address, and then I come up to this option here, the very first one, Show Object Properties, I can actually see everything about that email address. Its fill color is orange, it has no outline, etc. And as you go through other objects, you'll see various bits of information about those objects. And that can be very helpful when you have a very large document that has lots of objects and you need to know specifics. Let me just collapse these trees again. Well, you'll notice that the business card page has got a guides layer and what I've called a design layer, but the others have the default settings. So every time you create a brand new page you'll see a guides layer and a layer called layer 1. Every object you place will always go on layer 1 unless you rename that or create another layer for those objects to go on. Down the bottom you'll see that there's a master page and it too has various layers. We'll discuss that shortly. Well for right now let's spend some time looking at the business card page and its layers. I'm going to open up the guides layer. First of all, you notice that I've renamed all of my guides. To rename's easy. Just click once and then click again, and in typical Windows fashion, we can rename. Now, if I click on one of these guides and drag it, as you can see, it moves. Control Z, I'll undo that. However, I can lock the guides so they can't move. So click, and that's great. They're now locked off. But better still, I can actually show or hide the guidelines. So I can hide them and if I change page, look, the next page's guidelines still display. We've never had this option prior to X4. Previously, we've always had to go to View and turn guidelines on or off. But now, we have so much more control because the Guides layer is page independent. So we can show or hide, lock or unlock per page, which I think is tremendous. So I'll collapse that and we'll just have a look at the design layer I've got here. If I close that up, this here is a group of objects. Open the tree up, those are all the objects inside the group. This group is the design part of my business card. That's why I've called that the design layer. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a brand new layer. So I'm going to right click, new layer, or I could have actually clicked the little icon down here, and I'll call that text. Now I'm going to select these text items here and I can do that by either selecting there or you know typically control in fact I'll show you control finger on the control key select then click and drag to the text layer now why am I doing this well I'll show you basically what I'm wanting to do is I'm wanting to have one layer that I can lock off and I'll lock that layer there so now I can click on there and these things won't move but I've still got an editable layer because I haven't locked that one off and this can be of tremendous advantage in many design processes. In this particular one, I might have a page of business cards, and I've made only the text editable so that things don't get accidentally shifted or moved, etc. And that's a great way to work with layers. If we come down now to the master page, 
I'll, sh I'll demonstrate for you how this quickly works. The master page allows me to add objects that will affect every single page. For example, if I select the guides layer, then click and drag a guideline down. If I then change pages, you'll see that guide right there displays on every single page. Well, of course, there are lots of advantages to this. If, for example, you're setting up a multi-page document and you might want to put four basic guidelines that appear in every single page, this is the way to do it. Pop them down here, lock them off, and you can turn them on or off as you need them. That's tremendous. The next area of the master page I want to look at is the desktop area. Let me just zoom out a little bit here for you. You'll notice right now there's no images around the outside area of my business card. Well, this outside area is what we call the desktop. Anything that doesn't touch the page and is off is on the desktop. Well, right now I've got what's my desktop hidden, but let me turn it back on and zoom back out some more. You'll see all of my design objects. And of course, you know that's what I do. I place everything all around my designs. So as I change pages, you can see I have all of these objects available. Well, the other thing, of course, is that anything on the desktop is available to every single page. And that's one of the advantages of placing it there. However, if you take an object and you place that object, I'll just take uh, that design there and I'll group them together. If you take them and you touch them, on the page, watch them move. They have automatically moved up to the business card and onto the design layer, as you can see. So, working with the desktop area means you must have your objects sitting around the desktop, and that's really powerful, of course. Let me show you one more way of working with the master page, and I'm going to go down to my last page to show you this. I'm going to turn off the display of my desktop. Now, this object that we can see here is sitting on page 4, the catalog page. And it's a group of objects right down the bottom there, sitting inside of a power clip curve. Now I'm going to just drag right down to the bottom and place this right on the bottom of my master page. In fact, I could create a new layer there if I wanted to, but for right now I just want to show you this. If I go ahead now and I create a brand new page, you can see the outline of that particular object. In fact, that wasn't actually my intention to show you that, but I'm glad that I did because it can be a little bit confusing. Because I've not created a layer for that to sit on, you only see the outline of the object. So if I select in here, click in there, and then click New Master Layer, and we'll call that uh, Header. Hit Enter. And now what I'll do is I'll take that power clip and I'll place it in the header. As you can see, we now see the full color image. But here's my point. I'll just turn that into portrait mode. If I, if I create another page, you can see that header appears on every single page. So I don't have to put it on every page. It automatically appears on every page because I've placed it on the master page layer under header. And again, I could do the same thing with the footer. I could then lock that off so that it's not editable. So no matter what page I'm on, I can't move it, and then I can just simply add my text or whatever to that page. Furthermore, I can select the guides layer, and I can place a guide right there and right there, and then I can lock that off, and so every single page I can tell myself I want all the information to be inside of those guides. And you can quickly set up a multi-page document using the master page to make life a lot easier for yourself. There is a lot more that we could talk about in uh, looking at the object manager, but I think the most important is the fact that these new layers are independent to the pages. In previous versions of X4, when we created one layer, that same layer would appear on every single page. But of course, in this version of X4, we now have independent guides layer and independent multi-layers per page. It's a fantastic enhancement. Well, I'll see you in the next movie.